Welcome everyone. This is the webinar for foam injection molding inside of Moldex 3D. You've come to the right place. My name is Chris. I'm technical sales engineering with Moldex 3D. Okay, so outline some of the topics that we're going to cover in this particular webinar. I'm going to briefly cover some of the basics and the, the fundamental differences between physical and chemical foaming and then how Moldex 3D is able to leverage uh, these different processes. Again, please guys, if you can, make sure that you're on mute. I really appreciate that. Okay. Uh, so I'll briefly show you guys a couple examples. One about physical mucell foaming, a little bit of validation for that, and then also a little bit about polyurethane chemical foaming. But the bulk of this presentation is going to show you guys a case study that we did with a conventional chemical blowing agent. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the workflow inside of Moldex, some of the typical results you can expect, and then more importantly, the factors that actually affect the foaming performance and what to consider. So for some of you guys who, who might not have a lot of experience with foam molding, it's important to understand that there's some fundamental different processes here. Um, we have, for the physical blowing process, uh, or what's commonly known as Mucell, Mucell is the trade name uh, trademarked by the company Trexel in uh, Massachusetts. This process is, is more akin to a can of soda, if you can imagine. So you're actually dissolving nitrogen gas or, or perhaps even CO2 gas into the molten plastic inside of your injection unit, right? So when, when the gas is under pressure inside of the injection unit, it stays in solution, dissolved into the plastic melt. And then when you inject that and release the pressure, when the plastic enters the mold, um, the gas is allowed to come out of solution and you're left with a, a foam microstructure inside of your part. So this is a physical process, basically gas being dissolved into the molten polymer and then coming out uh, when the pressure is released.